guys, welcome to Questions and Answers. Hope you guys are doing well. I thought I'd jump in to say hello and take some of some questions. Happy 4th of July to all our American brothers and sisters. Um, hope you're having a wonderful um, day so far. Um, if you have any questions, feel free and give me your question and let's begin. Um, I always tell you, keep your healing very simple, always keep it simple. That's how you win this game. Complicated, you, you, will, you will fail, okay? I was, I was going to tell you that um, I'm looking deeply into sound frequency and I'm absolutely amazed by sound frequency for healing the human body. Um, I'm actually getting uh, some machines for it and it's very exciting. So I'm going to keep you guys um, updated with the sound of heal sound frequency healing. Sorry. Hello. Hello, love. Hello. Thank you so much uh, for all the kind words. Why do I feel so fatigued on this cleanse? I covered the question for you this morning already, but just in case you didn't hear, you are likely to go through, not likely, but if you have weak adrenals and you go on a cleanse, your adrenals, you are likely to get more tired before it gets better. That's how it works. It's called a healing crisis. Um, just like being a plumber to your house or an electrician, they have to shut the power supply or the water supply for them to do some repairs. The body is very similar to that. So you will go through that. I recommend that you use a formula on my site called the energy uh, formula to give you energy, but you cannot bypass that, especially if you have weak adrenal glands. Okay. Thank you so much for coming on guys. Hi everyone on TikTok and Instagram, please uh, press the share, like and follow button. If you are enjoying this, invite somebody here who will benefit as well. I want to tell you today is the 4th of July sale. It's a very um, a great time to get some herbs because it's 15% off. If you're interested, go grab it at mirrorhebbles.info. Okay. Uh, my website. Uh, the code, the coupon code is called 4JULY, 4, number 4 in July, and you get 15% off. Okay, greetings from Philadelphia, hello, hello, I'm on D5, keep it up. Um, why do you choose not to use clove in your parasite cleanse? I do have cloves, cloves in my parasite cleanse. The formula I have the clove in is called the para remove formula. Okay, I have several parasite formulas, and the reason why I have several is because you need a broad spectrum of herbs to help you. Clove, as good as it is, is not the most powerful one you can use. So on my para remove formula, I have strong um, um, herbs like, um, I have clove in there, sorry, one of them is there. I'm, I can't think of it right now. But I choose the best, the best plants in them. And so go look at my price formulas. And the one you want to look at is para remove formula for over 120 different uh, worms. Okay, pin worms, round worms, um, you name it, tapeworm, it can take care of it for you. Okay, diabetes, genetics, no. It's not, it's not genetics. Diabetes is inflammation. Um, you can have a weakness in the glands for the pancreas and the adrenal glands to get um, so-called diabetes. But it's actually, it's actually um, epigenetics or your environment. What are you eating? Um, uh, what are you exposed to? Inflammation in the body can cause havoc to those glands and give you your, your so-called diabetes. Okay. However, to address this uh, blood sugar problem, you need to take herbs to clean and strengthen your adrenal glands your um, pancreas, your liver, your bowels. Those are the four main areas you target. I would use all fruit diet, but I'll use low glycemic fruit to start. I would use a blood sugar formula to balance my sugar. Okay, um, and, and that's what I would do personally to um, address the blood sugar problems. Your blood sugar will fluctuate the first few days and after that, it will, it will drop and stabilize. Um, that's how you fix it. If you are type one, um, unfortunately, if you're, if you're on it for a very long period of time, your, your medication is going to be very, very hard to uh, recover it. But um, if you are, it depends on, 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 on how bad the type 1 is. But normally, you, you should see improvements. You will see improvements, at least uh, when you improve your diet, right? Okay. <clears throat> Question is, I've been doing sound therapy with instruments. Uh, excellent, excellent. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm also into the sound therapy as well. I thought I'll combine it with my uh, herb and fruit approach and see how it goes okay so um i'll keep you guys um i'll keep you guys um updated sorry that's the word i'm looking for bro speaking so much facts thank you so much guys um berberine berberine is fantastic it's known to do many things um uh, people use it mostly for the blood sugar problems um i don't use berberine extract i'll use like oregon grape root the plants that have the berberine in the right amounts golden seal um these i, I like to i never use isolate in my herbs don't use isolate because when you use an isolate it doesn't come with cofactors and the cofactors are needed to balance it the body recognizes it with the cofactors when you don't have cofactors the body looks at it as an alien 
um, particle in, in, it, in, in itself and it's going to have an inflammatory response. Okay, that's why you always want to use the herbs as is. Don't look for extracts. What's today's topic? Today's topic is questions and answers. I, I haven't done any topics where I, I do all the talking. I do questions and answers. But it, it's a good idea to do some talks on, on certain, um, certain things. Um, ask your question. What herb is for height? Um, chase tree berry is what I would use for height because it uh, affects the pituitary gland. Um, but I'll actually use a formula to help strengthen the pituitary gland. This is the, the gland that's responsible for your height and growth. Okay, you do want to be on a protocol if you want to improve your height. Depending on your age, you, um, you should be able to. At least the speed at which you. Okay. Um, okay. How, uh, my name is Michelle. How can I get my underarms healed with soreness and smell? I'm allergic to deodorant. Well, if you have soreness there and the skin is sore and you have a smell to it, uh, it's lymphatic stagnation in the area. You want to move the lymph system there. I would use poke root on the area. Okay. And this will allow the lymph system to move properly. But you need to be on the fruits to move the lymph system, unfortunately. If you don't use the fruits to move the lymph system, you, you're asking for, for trouble. Because this smell and this soreness indicates the stagnation. When there's stagnation there, you're more likely to damage cells. And you don't want that to happen. So jump on a cleanse. Go on a grip-only cleanse. Um, and use the herbs for the lymphatic system, for the kidneys, for the liver, for the bowels, for the endocrine glands. Clean the whole thing up. It will go away. Add the poke root and castor oil pack on the area. It will, it will dissolve and go away. Please tap the screen if you're enjoying this on TikTok, Instagram. Press the share, like, and follow button. Please kindly do so and help somebody by bringing them to awareness so they know, right? Um, let me see right here. Uh, stomach bloating. If you have stomach bloating, address your pancreas, your liver, your entire GI tract. Make sure you, have, you use enemas. Clean your bowels out. Um, it simply indicates that you don't have. You're not. Um, you have a poor dig digestive system. So make sure you use one fruit. To help you clean up don't use complex chemistry don't eat protein and starches if you have a hard time and you're getting bloated and you eat protein and starches you're asking for trouble so keep it with one foot only uh, for a little bit of time clean up the whole body it will go away and you strengthen your your system your digestive system okay uh, that's too much horse still cause irregular heartbeats no it won't cause regular heartbeats too much of anything too much of anything is, is not good when i say too much what i mean by too much if I give you a, a thousand apples to eat, it's going to cause a problem, no matter how good it is. So you have to use it in moderation. And if you have irregular heartbeats, it tells me that your adrenal glands and thyroid are weak. Horse tail doesn't affect your adrenals and thyroid directly, at least. Okay, so I, 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 it wouldn't be that. An irregular heartbeat means weak adrenals, weak nervous system, and weak... Um, uh, it also could be weak um, uh, sorry, adrenals because, and neurological system, sorry, nervous system. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, no. Best herbs for chronic constipation. Go and see my bowel strength formula. It has all the best herbs I deem important for relieving constipation. It has no laxatives in there. Okay? Is we, The formula is meant to strengthen and help you get good bowel movements. Um, I don't like uh, strong laxatives like Senna. I will use stuff like Gentian Root, Cape Aloe. Um, you know, cascara sagrada and a little bit, a little bit of cascara sagrada, that ginger, that sort of thing is good for your to move your bowels. If you have chronic constipation, work on your adrenal glands. There, that's the main culprit is the adrenal glands because the adrenal glands help with peristalsis. Um, and then jump on a fruit cleanse, use the herbs, the fabulous five like this here, and clean the whole body up. Those of you who are interested, today's Fourth um, uh, of July sale. Um, the code is Jul uh, for July, the number four in July, and you get fifteen percent off. Please do take advantage because it ends in a, in a few hours, 12 midnight. Okay, so if you're interested, go to my website and use the code for July, the f number 4 in July.